Hey guys, Wetups here with a review of the SR2M Varesk in the game Crossfire. A couple thanks before I start the review. Our shitty website is still up, and yes, it's still shitty, and you should go sign up. <laughs> it's in the description under the video. Just go do it. Whatever. Anyway, um, also, uh, T, T, do they have three T's in their name now? I don't know. Triple Threat Reviews, um, our fellow three reviewers of the Crossfire Variety, are hosting a charity montage and all the information you need on that is in the link that will be in the description and it'll say TTR then it'll have the link so click that link and lastly our reviews are now in 1080p clear as like not really clear but it's it's just click it it's awesome it's awesome Alright, sorry for the sort of long intro, but now we can kind of get into the review. So, the power of the Varesk. Uh, it's alright. I mean, the kill time resembles an MP5 to me, hitting 22 to 28 damage per hit. As an approximation, because I don't want to read out 40 different damage amounts from different distances. That'd be really, really, <laughs> really gay. But, uh, don't be discouraged as the firing rate, which I'll get to in a second, really makes up for the low damage. The accuracy of the Varesk is actually pretty impressive. The gun has virtually no recoil if you burst properly. The Varesk being an SMG does mean that it has some pretty bad unintentional bursting, but with the recoil being so minuscule, the extra couple of bullets you shoot out only help instead of throwing you off so you can't aim. So, long range is definitely possible with this gun. The reload rate of the Varesk measures at 1.635 seconds. Here's the reload rate. I don't really have anything to compare it to, so I got a timer and some cool clock noises. So, see how this works out. The firing rate of the Varesk is definitely the stronghold of the gun. The magazine is 35 out of 105, but the ammo goes fast, which is the only downside to this gun's firing rate. But, it's kind of a downside to any gun that has a fast firing rate, I suppose. As I was saying before, the damage is low, but the firing rate being really fast evens out the kill time, making the gun seem a lot better than it would if you were to just look at the damage portion of it. The model of the Varesk is really well done too, I think it's sick. It doesn't have any effect on the weapon's performance at all, but I kinda enjoy ISEX when I'm killing stuff. All in all, I believe that the weapon is worth the ZP if you have it, but honestly I haven't seen anything that would compel me to buy ZP just for the item. The Varesk doesn't really change that either. The fast kill time and reload rate almost had me in a buying mood, but I would still rather go for a free weapon and just wait until Crossfire gets sick of the QQ and noobs and nerfs the shit out of it, which no doubt they'll do. The FSR rating on the Varesk is 4 out of 5. The performance of the weapon is definitely good. You get kills with it, that's what a gun's supposed to do. Uh, the cons of the weapon are the low damage, it can sometimes screw with you, like if you can't get a lot of shots in or something. How fast the ammo goes is another one, and having to buy ZP for it is just kind of a letdown. I think that Crossfire should have let this gun be as good as it is, but kept it GP. The pros of the weapon are the kill time. One on one versus just about any gun, you've got the kill indefinitely. More advantages are the low recoil, the fast ass reload rate, and the looks are cool too. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Varesk in the game Crossfire. This has been White Ops. Peace out. Oh.